Hi, this is a review on my Marlin 925 rifle chambered in 22 long rifle. Um, it comes with a 7 shot clip magazine. It is bolt action, uh, has a thumb safety on the right side of the receiver. Um, has a nice Monte Carlo walnut finished hardwood stock. Um, originally it was covered in marshaled finish, but I didn't like that as too much, so I stripped it and stained it with walnut stain and put lots of coats of tongue oil on it. The twist rate in the barrel is 1 16 inch right handed, and that is um, proprietary of the Marlin Microgroove Rifling System, which has more rifling uh, grooves cut into the barrel, but they're less steep. Um, the sights are adjustable. Um, it's adjustable open rear, and it has a ramp front sight. The sights are pretty good. Um, for a partridge sight system, and I'm able to hit a gong up to 200 yards away. Um, the receiver is grooved and tapped for um, dovetail mounts for scope, or you can just use weaver mounts for a scope. Um, the trigger is the T900 trigger. Uh, from the factory, it is very crisp and breaks very cleanly, but the pull is really heavy, so on rear fire. Central, the forums, um, there are some stickies on how to change um, the trigger pull on this rifle. And one of them is to take the spring from a ballpoint pen and um, replace the Marlin factory spring. I've noticed that the pull is three pounds or less now and uh, it still maintains that crisp, clean break. The only thing is that when the trigger is pulled, um, you need to shim uh, the trigger because it will wobble side to side. And moving on to the magazines, um, the one that comes factory from from Marlin is a seven shot blued magazine. Uh, it feeds reliably for me. I've heard that if you um, kind of jam the mags in like an AR-15, slap it up, you might bend the lips and the feeding may be um, altered. Um, but overall they are pretty good and I like them because the mags are pretty cheap. You can buy a couple of them and just slap them in and continue shooting. Um, so this is seven rounds and you can do seven plus one, put one round in the chamber and you have eight shots. I've been shooting these Champion uh, 22 long rifles, uh, hollow points, copper plated. Uh, they're pretty good, uh, not bad for bulk ammo. Um, they're pretty clean too. What else can I tell you about this rifle? It um, comes with sling studs and I've added a USGI web sling um, for uh, apple seed shoots and I'm using Blackhawk Tactical um, one and one quarter inch uh, sling swivels. Um, one thing I don't really like about this Rifle is the mag release. Stick that in there. It's not really ergonomic because if you're trying to press this in, take the mag out, it's not natural. I'd rather have it, or at least, or maybe the magazine shape itself um, would be better if it was a banana, kind of like an AK 47. So you can use your thumb and grip with the um, rest of your hand onto the mag and then pull it out. But because it's kind of this rectangular box shape, it's kind of awkward with this uh, thumb release latch right here. Um, to take down the rifle, you just need to take down these, this screw back here and this big one right here, and you both take the action out. Um, one thing I noticed about the barrels are, Marlin makes very thick barrels. This is just a regular sporter barrel, but it's very thick. And so that aids its accuracy um, and also from the barrel heating up too fast. Um, this is the other side of the rifle. So there's the safe and fire mode. And this just gets clicked forward like that for shoot it to fire. Back on safe. The boat. Out of the factory is pretty rough, but after a few rounds, a few hundred rounds, try to say, um, became a lot smoother actually. 
Um, now it will fall back and in and out of the receiver if I just like hold the rifle upside down or um, the other way. Um, so to show you this side of the rifle. The butt pad is just plastic. It says Marlow on it. And yeah. That's about it. Um, they don't make this model anymore. It's been rebranded as the XT22 rifle series. Um, that means it now comes with a bigger palm swell. I'm not sure if that really matters too much to you guys. Uh, what else? Um, it has the trigger. It's adjustable, kind of like the Savage Act trigger. So there's also a, another extra safety searing engagement there. Um, they also, out of the factory, they changed the bolt in the, in the sense that um, when you lift up on the bolt, it's a lot easier to actuate the action. Um, and that's pretty much it for the new XT22 series. But um, this rifle is very accurate, actually, which is with stock iron sights. I might plan to uh, mount a scope onto it, but in um, the meantime, it's shooting pretty well for me, um, just with the stock irons. So we'll see about that. Anyways, I uh, hope that convinces you or dissuades you from buying this rifle, although they don't manufacture it anymore. But from what, I'm he well, from what I hear, um, the rifle's made in New York right now, under after Remington bought Marlin are um, having quality control issues. So if you're looking for an older Marlin bolt action rifle, then definitely look at the 925. I have the 2010 catalog here. Um, this is what the 925 um, looks like in original factory condition. It also comes in the R, which comes with the synthetic stock, and the C is the camouflage. There's also a tubular version called 981. T for tubular and S for stainless. And yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please leave any comments or questions. Thanks, bye.